Ryan Cole, a newcomer, transfer from Cincinnati, kicks off, and it's a boomer down to the back of the end zone. Carry on Joyner is the running back. It looked like they might run a trick play right out of the gate. Leggett looked like he might throw it. Instead, he's dumped by Elijah Huzzy. Gene Chizik said he'd be much more aggressive this year. And he comes after Rattler with just three men. They almost sacked him. He got away and threw an incomplete pass. Punters in the country, and he will punt it. They run a lot of fakes. Huzzy, the return man, and he makes a fair catch at the 30. There was some contact near the ball. Out of the pistol with British Brooks, the running back, on second and two. Brooks bounces off some tackles and has a first down to the 43. Tough run. He's powerfully put together at 5'11", 225. Pesor, one of the likeliest to step forward. On second and two, a big hole for Brooks. British Brooks inside the 35 with the Badgers. That's what they're looking at in the replay booth. Jesse Garcia is the replay official. Chapman did not play last year. He's a red shirt freshman, was highly recruited. May right down the middle. Has a tight end, John Copenhaver. Down to the 10 yard line where Kilgore took him down. They'll give him the nine. North Carolina has gone eight plays, 69 yards. They run right over the ball. May shovels it back for Hampton. Touchdown, but there is a flag down in the end zone on the near side. It was a thing of beauty as we take a look at this touchdown run by Hampton, just surging through and a good push there on the left side of the offensive line. And tight ends as well. You can see the progressive pylon cam. On well, that first replay, it looked like his knee might have been down before he broke the plane of the end zone. The six rushes and only three passes for Drake May on the touchdown drive. Has come in at right tackle. And a handoff up the middle. Joiner dumped by Cayman Rucker. It's a loss of two. Just really remarkable when you think about what North Carolina was last year defensively. Really struggled to be disruptive. Really struggled to make plays behind the opponent's offensive line. No negative plays, no negative sacks. So far, five plays for South Carolina, negative one yards. They are attacking in Tar Heel Blue. The two plays for lost yardage, one for no gain. Randall got plastered, still got it off, and it is caught. Across the 40 for a first down. Xavier Leggett with a first down on a 21-yard pickup. This is trust right here. I mean, Spencer Rattler, man in his face, has to stay in there. As you can see, Cedric Gray applying the pressure. He better be careful. That was dangerously close to a targeting. Very high hit. Rattler, single coverage for Leggett. to get his degree. Third down and seven. Rattler over the middle. Caught first down inside the five. Trey Knox, the transfer, tight end from Arkansas, where he played last year for Donald Loggins, who was the tight end coach. He's now the offensive coordinator at South Carolina. Just a great job by Spencer Rattler identifying a matchup. You have a rangy, athletic tight end working against Don Chapman, the flat-footed safety. He beats him inside and nearly scores. Joiner the running back. Joiner the ball carrier. Joiner the touchdown. It's a simple game. It's just numbers and leverage. And if you look at this, you have three defenders on the left side of the center. You got three blockers on the left side of the center. All the carry on Joiner has to do is got to beat Cedric Gray to the spot. He does so nicely. Mitch Jeter. Yeah, it's the extra point. Four receivers, three to the right. Pressure brought by the Gamecocks in a slant caught for a first down. Kamari Morales. Far more balance coming and working alongside Gus Malzahn for many years, who obviously is excellent running the football. Third down and four. And the catch made for a first down. 
Blanton, the tackle on Brooks. The best game of the year in terms of the quarterback matchup. Two guys of incredibly high talent level. And Drake May and Spencer Rattler. Well, it's North Carolina on the move again. A great play by Debo Williams. Slashing through to drop Hampton for a five-yard loss. That's great timing, anticipating and hitting it as hard as humanly possible. You talk to the defensive staff. Last year, he's a transfer from Delaware. Second down, 15. May, all kinds of running room. And he has a first down. Tripped up from behind. Williams couldn't make the tackle. May well short of the first down. Drake gets 16. And that's really difficult for Debo Williams. He just made the play a second to go. You get Drake May at six foot four. Drake May can take off and make you pay. Final seconds of the quarter. They did bring a blitz from the corner. And that catch by Pesor ends two yards short. Fourth and three. Quick slant incomplete. Try to get it to Gavin Blackwell. Will Donald Fortune have the coverage? Six-yard rush for Joyner. Third down and seven. Rattler tripped up. Looked like he might escape for a moment, but he could not. Back just a little bit, and as Rattler is trying to escape, watch Bugar's right leg get pushed back, connecting with Spencer Rattler's left foot. And as a result, he goes down to the ground. Another nice stop. So, Kroger on the punt. You always have to be alert for a fake. Short kick caught on the run by Huzzy. A fair catch. On a fourth and three. May. Given plenty of time. Now he's in trouble. Throws over the middle. Caught! First down. Bryson Nesbitt. They converted on a little earlier. Drake May started his eyes to the right, trying to work Nesbitt on a quick out. Scrambles around by some time, escapes to his left, throws back across his body. Way behind the defense. That's a walk-in score. Drake May's just a little bit more patient. And throwing the ball for a big touchdown. On third down and one, Hampton got the first down. Very good player. Third down and 12. May given a nice pocket and a perfect throw. J.J. Jones. Excellent protection. Pressure being brought by South Carolina off the right-hand side. You see the running back, British Brooks, stepping up and meeting that pressure. He'll take off if you overrun the quarterback. They put pressure on him, hit as he throws, and it's dropped. Gavin Blackwell might have been trying to run before he caught it. And kicked two years for that, prior to that, for the University of Delaware. 37-yard try, and a line drive that just hooks through inside the left upright for the Cox. Toe the kickoff. Tumbling down to Leggett. Dangerous return man. Ran into his own man and survived it. And gets swung out of bounds near the 30. Thank Joe Tuza, president of Duke's Mail, for being busy for us goodies. Rattler throws wide open. The throw back to Leggett. He's across midfield and powering down near the 40-yard line. He's big and strong at 6'3", 227. He took some Tar Heels along for the ride. I love the design. A complete handoff, fake the bootleg, set up, throw back. But how about the run after catch by Leggett? Fifth-year senior. Here's the mark. Down the far sideline. Desmond Evans and Kevin Hester Jr. and Murphy up front. Some capable backups. Rattler in the flat. Caught Juju McDowell. Inside the 10, the 5. And bang down at the 1. 27 more. Dow Loggins. Go, go, go. The offensive coordinator. Watch them the line up with the heels on their heels. McDowell, touchdown! Oh, Logans decides to put the foot pedal on the gas. But then again, the fake extra point is not 
out of the realm of possibility with Beamer and Pete Lembo's special teams. Jeter kicks it. It's a four-point Gamecock lead. Five-man pressure now a six. May has a man open caught. First down and much more. Tamari Morales. Florida. Good for 28 on the first down. And just a really neat design right there. You have a guy breaking to the inside, another guy breaking to the inside. You get Morales on a corner route. It's really not because South Carolina had a difficult time containing running backs on the perimeter last year. And they gave up 198 yards rushing last year per game. There's a deep throw. Wide open receiver. Paysar with the North Carolina touchdown. Such a difficult spot to be in for the defender. Flat foot. paysor has got a full head of steam. Sets him up beautifully to the inside. Gets behind him. Drake May. They go 75 yards in five plays. And the extra point knocked right down the middle by Ryan Cole. And he can deliver a blow. That's for sure can. Big edge in time of possession and number of plays, but it's been big plays for South Carolina. That's their 21st play. So the Carolina defense gouged last year, giving up some big plays again in the opener. And unfortunately, looks like he is. Joyner in trouble and dumped behind the line of scrimmage. Penetration again by Cayman Rucker. Doty right there showing he can do it. 12-yard play. Rattler taken down a sack at the 47-yard line. Cedric Gray. The pressure for a Carolina defense that had only 20 sacks all of last season. This is Beamer Ball 2.0. Shane, the son of Frank, legendary for his special teams when he was the head coach at Virginia Tech. Coached the special teams units himself with the Hokie. It's about how you bounce back right. from it, you know. I think they feel really good about it right now. <laughs> Jeter onside kicks! And South Carolina! They recover the onside kick! Just a beautiful touch from Jeter. You can see it goes exactly the right distance. I mean, you can tell they've been practicing that one all offseason, all throughout fall camp. My and, goodness. And they steal a possession. A lot of great candidates. A lot of great candidates. I had them at number one on my ballot. On third down, the pass incomplete to the far sideline. Intended for Marion Brown with Tayon Holloway, the redshirt freshman in coverage. And it's Fourth down of the offense still on the field for South Carolina with four yards to go. Rattler throws incomplete. And Tennifer Brown again looked like he was trying to turn up the field. They have third down and four. Just inside Gamecock territory, British Brooks. Looks like he came up. Uh, about a foot short, and I'm guessing Mac Brown is going to go for it, that aggressive approach. Now, one would assume, and with a big body quarterback, they've used it in the past, they used it last year. You don't often see Drake May under center, but when you do, you can mostly expect quarterbacks deep. It looks like they're coming in a wildcat formation. Well, South Carolina just did get men on and off. They're 0 for 1 on fourth down tonight. British Brooks lined up as the wildcat. British Brooks, first down and much more. Just a great job of pulling around the edge. This is really nicely done by Willie Lampkin. See big number 53 just surging and the great job too on the right side by Amari and Hampton who is also out in front. Just a great surge there by North Carolina. Lampkin is the only new starter and he just transferred in from Coastal Carolina where he was outstanding. May toward the end zone, diving catch! Gavin Blackwell for 41. First and goal, Tar Heels, they're racing to the ball at the one-yard line. Hampton, the running back, Hampton walks in. the first two score late of the night for either team.
with some tempo with the walk-in from Marion Hampton. Just a thing of beauty, a great two-play sequence after the fourth down conversion by the Tar Heel offense. May is 18 out of 22 for 219 and a touchdown now. And the extra point good by Cole. Third down and 10. And he is sacked. Amari Gator, the transfer from Florida State. And just full movement across. And you're going to see Gator who comes free off the edge. Look at the offensive line. All squeezed down to the left. Gator's wide open. And drops Spencer Rattler who tries to escape. But the way they bought the offensive line to the left, it was a problem. Kroger's punt is short. And a fair catch made by Elijah Huzzy, just a 38-yard punt. Winningest active coaches in FBS wins. Each national championship winner. Sidearm throw by Drake May. It got through to John Copenhaver. Yeah, for sure. And we talked a little earlier and compared him to Joe Burrow. How about we compare him for a moment to Pat Mahomes? Dropping that arm sideways, throwing it around two defenders. Hampton remains the running back. And he delivered it hit. He rocked DQ Smith, just stood him right up. 115th and sacks allowed out of the 131 a year ago. Third down and four. May, another design rollout. And a first down, Pesor. Out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Then their entire coaching staff left. And... He transferred to North Carolina in January. Dre, Drake May to the end zone. And a catch. John Copenhaver. An 18-yard touchdown. Now a flag after the touchdown. This is a heck of a play by Drake May. All-out pressure. Drake May knows it. He drifts a little bit to buy time. But on the left side of the offensive line is Tyreek Johnson, the big body, 280-pound defensive end. Point. Saying if you're a second time transfer, you have to spit out of here. But for some reason, he wasn't grandfathered in. Here's Spencer Rattler running. That's happened for decades at the NCAA. Somebody please do something. There's a sack by Bo Atkinson. Rattler taken down back at the 40 yard line. Fourth sack for North Carolina. Here's Molly McGrath. Well, Sean, I spoke with Tez Walker before the game. He told me he genuinely thought he would be able to play in this first game and was shocked and in tears when he learned last night that he was still ineligible. And you mentioned he had 30 family and friends who bought tickets. They still decided to come because they thought as of last night he would be playing in this game. His grandmother, who is ill, is even here. And he said it's been an emotional week, but he wouldn't be able to get through all of this if it weren't for the support of Mac Brown in this community. He said it was so cool to see Eric Church wearing his jersey before the game and he's been in good spirits on the sideline revenue from the conference with the exception of the college football playoff until nine years british brooks what a return to action for british last game he played and was here against south carolina the duke's mayo bowl two years ago so much for north carolina in their rushing attack tonight has been cut back along with hampton dividing the carries tonight Under pressure, got it off, and threw an interception. Picked off, boy, did South Carolina need that. O'Donnell Fortune. Massive play for South Carolina, as you can see, O.D. Fortune gets beat initially, but doesn't give up and undercuts the route after May misses just a little bit inside. There's great pressure applied by South Carolina in the front, as you can see, Stone Blanton. Got a 100-yard interception return for a touchdown against Notre Dame. In the Tax Slayer Gator Ball down for a big loss. Juju McDowell came in Rucker again with the penetration. How about this movement right here up front by Cayman Rucker? Look at him slide inside the right tackle at Sidney Fugar and drops McDowell in the backfield, just continuing to see disruption from this North Carolina defensive line. With by Fugar. First year in South Carolina, transfer from Western Illinois. Rattler did well to stay on his feet, and he runs out of bounds with a first down. In the first half, 
ordinarily a quarterback. He's Rattler's backup. Screen to Juju McDowell. And he's down short of the first down. Ershon Lee, the center out there, helping lead the way. He's a first-year starter at center. They had to replace Eric Douglas, who started 38 games for South Carolina. Be alert here if you're North Carolina defense. This might be an opportunity for South Carolina to try to take a shot over the top. Fresh set of downs and plus territory. This is a typical shot down. Rattler, final seconds of the quarter. And I believe they're going to call that a sack down before he threw the ball away. And a heck of a move right here by Desmond Evans. Look at him spin up inside against Jackson Hughes. And forces Spencer Rattler to the ground. Had their fair share of challenges. Rattler right on cue. Throws it away. Along the far sideline. Totally unable to run the ball tonight. North Carolina, South Carolina, 15 yards rushing. So they throw for Leggett, trying to make another acrobatic catch. And he ripped it away from Teon Holloway. This guy has been a completely different person since last year. He returned a kickoff against Texas A&M, and it's as if the light went on. The guy's playing insanely confident. Absolute monster with the ball in his air. 6'3", 227. And a flag thrown on the tackle. First and goal, South Carolina, just outside the six. Swing pass, Juju McDowell chopped down by Teon Holloway. 13 minutes to go, down by 17. Rattler tripped up. Looked like he might escape, but Tamari Fox said no. Six sacks for North Carolina. Just a great job getting every single one of the offensive linemen singled up with a pass rusher for North Carolina. Gene Chizik de designed it to where everybody had a one-on-one. -on -one. Tamari Fox, a guy they're very excited about, was ineligible last year, but he's back and has a newfound focus on football. They're very excited about the potential that he might display in the middle of that defense. Mitch Jeter has not missed a field goal as a college kicker. He's now 12 out of 12. He has 13 tackles tonight, Debo Williams. At 43 all of last year, it's intercepted. Off the hands of the intended target and picked off. Kawan Banks to get the Gamecocks right back in. Just tremendous play by Banks as you see the ball trying to hit the back shoulder. He leads him a little bit too far upfield, which forces Pesor to kind of reach. It's tipped up just ever so slightly. And how about the concentration of Banks reeling it in? And then he's up the sideline. Here's South Carolina. Third down and one. Juju McDowell. Interesting. In the short yardage situation, they give it to the running back who's 5'9", 180. But D.K. Joyner's first career start as a running back hasn't been able to get any traction at all. Just 23 yards rushing on 12 carries. He's the much bigger back at 229, sixth year senior. He's back in at running back. Quick throw and catch. Near the 15-yard line goes Peyton Mangrum. Join of the running back. He goes out in the pass pattern. Rather can barely take the snap, and he throws it away with Rucker right in his face. They want a grounding penalty. Uh, this is not exactly a manageable fourth down situation. And watch the, the right tackle here. This is Tyshawn Wanamaker. He slides in. He's responsible for number 25, Kamen Rucker. Instead, he slides in for some reason. Spencer Rattler has no choice. They're going for him fourth and 19. Has time, but that throw is way short on the line to make. And they've held South Carolina to two yards rushing on 28 attempts. British Brooks get 10 and a first down. Letting the play clock go down under five. Quick pressure. He got it off quickly to Pesor, who got taken down by Jalen Kilgore. 
game as head coach at South Carolina two last year for touchdowns against Georgia State but you can't block one when they don't punt that's the first punt of the night for the Tar Heels by Ben Kiernan and it's a fair catch by Eddie Lewis of a 39 yard punt number 62 he was a big recruit and he hasn't really gotten it done keep waiting here's Leggett again having an enormous night now that's 23 more for Xavier Leggett nice job of Spencer Rattler still those edges are starting to collapse he stepped up with a lot of intensity right there hit Leggett with a little shovel pass and he's out the door Short set, Leggett again, why not? Trying to dance away. He stepped out of bounds. Don Chapman did enough. To stop him at the 35-yard line. 12 more. That's nine catches, 177 yards for Leggett. And he needs a rest. He's over on the bench. And out of gas. Man rush, quick slant, Luke Jody again hangs on to the ball as they try to rip it away from him. South Carolina once down by 17, trying to make it a one-score game. First and 10, North Carolina 11, Rattler down again for the eighth time tonight. Amari Gaynor, and just a great job of Amari Gaynor working to the inside, but as soon as he sees Spencer Rattler escape to his left, he disengages and chases him down. Third down and 20. And you can just see what the pressure is doing to him, dancing around, knowing that he can't even complete his drop. He took the check down to DK Joyner on a fourth down try. They have to have it. With three and a half minutes to go. To the end zone, too high. Intended for Leggett. North Carolina believes it has. A terrific defensive front. Here's British Brooks. Running across the 35. Jalen Kilgore made the tackle. 47 yards in the uh, sack yardage lost for South Carolina. The Dublin native. He just did get it off. Vernon came to this country at age 15. The Raleigh Durham area. Let's just say they're a little ahead of schedule. My goodness. Luke Doty, another catch. Rattler dumps it off short. Stumbling out of bounds. Joshua Simon, another transfer tight end. He comes from Western Kentucky, where he had 86 career catches. They had to replace, really, their entire tight end group. Shaheem Bell, Austin Stockner. Trayvon Kenyon, all gone. They run in Knox and Simon his transfers. Here's Rattler. Running out of bounds. So they'll have Furman next week. Will South Carolina. I believe Gene Chizik has a son on the Furman team. He does. Told us last night, he so does. they'll have to deal with another Chiswick. <laughs> Gene's defense, creating all kinds of problems all night long. Rattler goes down again. It's kind of like when you look at him, he's a little longer than James Harrison. Evans, Hester, Murphy, Fox a good backup. Atkinson made a nice play. You have to think if the secondary can hold up. They will be a lot better. They're already a lot better than they were last year. Eccles chops down Simon. He's had three quick catches. And you start to think about the ACC as well. I mean, Clemson, question marks, but feel pretty good about them. Florida State feel great about them. Man, it'd be hard right now, based on what we've seen tonight, to say that North Carolina is anything lower than three. May takes an E. And North Carolina wins. Career win number 275.